a lot of our attention. So the first thing we're going to do is get it all wiped down and cleaned up and get all the dirt off of it. Now we're going to clean the inside of the rim with rubbing alcohol. If you have lacquer thinner, you can use that as well. I'm going to show you a real cool way to protect your wheels. And this can be done on motorcycle wheels, pretty much anything. And you can already see that the corrosion is starting to take place. And these have only been in the winter salt for about a month and a half. That's how quick it takes for that to happen. The idea is to get the salt and water to stay off the metal so it doesn't start that corrosion. Preventive maintenance. All right, now we're going to take our mothers along with our eagle wadding. All these tools will all be in the show more of the video description. All you gotta do is click show more. We're gonna get rid of the corrosion that's already started I will take our buffer and we'll go around the inside and focus on the corrosion. Gotta love these extensions right here. We'll wipe all that out with one of our shop towels. You can see it already looks better. Now, here's your choices. This is what we do and here's your choices are. Get some Rust-Oleum gray, whatever color you want, gray, black, whatever it may be. Metal with the metal protection. You want the Rust-Oleum that has the ability to protect your rim or metal from rusting and paint the inside of your wheel with a brush. Just put a nice coating on it. Believe it or not, they will not corrode. It takes an un unbelievable amount of salt and chloride to eat through that stuff. It just is an amazing paint. What we're going to do is actually take a duplicolor quart can of ready to go gloss clear coat and we're going to paint it on. All right, we let the air out of the uh, tire. So again, all you do is push down on the tire, push right here and the card goes right in. That way it locks in between the rim and the tire, it locks your card right in there. I'm going to use lacquer thinner. You take your microfiber and shine it up. Because once you put the clear coat on it, that's what it's going to be like underneath it. Now what I'm doing is just covering it up so that uh, when I spray this on it doesn't go down and get on the front of the wheel whatsoever. And you can put a couple coats on just this outer edge of the rim with your spray. Make sure you have your face mask on and then after you do that let it dry. You can use a hair dryer and speed it up and then put another coat on it. Now you can, if you want, spray the whole inside of the wheel, but I'm going to put a more heavy duty clear on it than this right here. But this will really protect this rim on, from ever corroding again. That's it on that. And as I said, we're using a Duplicolor clear coat. This is auto body quality. It's ready to paint, ready to spray, ready to paint on whatever you gotta do. Like I said, you can spray it if you want. We just want it nice and heavy and thick. And you will not believe how clean these stay from doing this. We'll never have to worry about these corroding on the inside again. And you can put a couple coats. 
Let it dry 15, 20 minutes. Do it again. Then I'll show you a little trick. Now you remember that heavy foam we used on the uh, seat die video? You can use that right here too and it works great. The heavier the better. But you want it about 65 to 70 degrees when you're messing with any of this stuff. Just to get it to set up. Done. We'll wait. Take your hair dryer to it. Dry it out. Put another coat on it. Do it in a well ventilated area. Stuff's pretty strong. But it's never coming off here. Goodbye corrosion. Alright guys and gals. What we did here is we took an oil based rust-oleum painted the backside of the rim here we clear coated this we painted inside here these areas right here with the same rust-oleum oil base and the reason we use that is because as you know corrosion and rust does not like oil we clear coated this with a small coat of uh, clear coat and then we put a heavier coat inside here the rim has been all clear coated and uh, we don't have to worry about the corrosion any longer now we're going to do the front of the rim. Now remember when you do your clear coat, and I forgot to mention this, when you do your clear coat, if you use a paintbrush or a spray, put it on heavy, flip the rim over, and let all of it that is going to run off run this way on the rim instead of down. Okay, now we're going to deal, once we've got the insides all done, now we're going to deal with protecting the outside where you would polish keep clean, scrub, that kind of thing. Now you can, this is chrome, you can clear coat it, but once you do, that's what you've got. If you want it off there, you'll have to peel it off, stripper, or whatever. I like if you have chrome, keep it chrome, and just use your mother's to keep it polished. But we're going to talk about keeping this protected at this point. Now, the toughest areas are going to be inside here where your lug nuts go. And as you can see by this area, it's not really big on chrome. It's kind of light. And I can see some corrosion, some salt and corrosion down in there. Now you can clear this with your brush. Get a smaller brush and brush the inside. Do not get it on the mating surface here where your lug nut would go. Do not put it on that. Try to stay out of that area where this would actually mount to. You can clear your lug nuts. The reason is you can't clean them that well. It's hard to keep them clean and they will clean up really well if they're cleared and they won't corrode like this one's got some corrosion on it. Take a brush and do the inside very carefully. Is it time consuming? Yes. And then put your clear everywhere in there but the mating surface. Let's move forward because what we're going to do is buff this up, put our protectant on, our special protectant basically for all chrome, all aluminum, and you'll be able to find that in the show more of the video description. So let's take our mothers and our attachments and get busy on this. We're first going to start in these corners here. All right, we've gotten all the tight areas done. Now we're going to take our mothers and go over the whole rim, buff it up nice, and then we'll take our microfiber towels and clean everything all up, and then I'll show you what we do next. Now you can buy other wheels to drive on in the winter, so you don't have to do this. You can just protect them, but not everybody has that kind of money to have a whole other set of wheels and tires laying around. Now as far as what we're doing here for those of you in high sun areas and high heat like Australia, this is a great way to do this because we're going to be protecting the metal from heat as well. Pretty much all the elements. All right, now we're going to get busy. Done. Now what you'll do when you get down inside there. Well, 
Look at the shine on that. Let's do this one here where you can really see it. Isn't that gorgeous? Look, you can see yourself in it. I love seeing that. Really, really, really tight areas. You can get your small buffer kit out and get in where you may have some corrosion already starting up. The smaller ones here. All right, here's where we're going to actually do the clear coating with our gloss clear coat on the insides. And you can use a smaller brush than this. And this will just keep that corrosion from being able to start. The idea is to coat the entire wheel, especially in the tough areas that don't get cleaned well and get packed full of salt and just sit there and corrode. The next step is going to be, this is our special concoction right here, and that'll be in the tools list as well. All you do is put a coating of this on, let it dry, and you can do two coats. Do this about every six to eight weeks. And this is a special protection. It keeps brake dust down, pretty much anything that gets on these wheels from adhering. And remember, always the outside of your wheels are less likely to corrode because you keep them the cleanest. Because they're easy to get to. Things that are hard to get to you are less maintained. This is the secret right here to the outside of your chrome and aluminum and keeping it protected. And no, it's not mother's. Now once you buff this off after it dries, you can do another one more time and the outside of these will be protected from just about anything that you can throw at them. We'll buff these up and I'll show you what they look like afterwards. All right guys and gals, there's the finished product. This will weather through any storm that mother nature can throw at it. Guys and gals, just a reminder, make sure you use your anti-seize right here and here before you put the wheel back on. Real simple. This way it makes sure you can get your wheel back off very easily. Glad you're here with us. Come back again. Take care ladies and gentlemen.